never said a word on the roost with his brows. Please, there's a whole flock of them. Here they come. This is gonna happen quick and with no sound. That's a good idea.
too foggy for my rangefinder. He's looking for his hands. He actually left them quarter. Alright, that's good. He's he wants you to come the rest of the way. says he left his ladies though man he let them go up over Well, we uh, we got close. <laughs> Happ happened uh, quiet and fast. So it's 6:40 right now, Friday, May 8th. 
and it's cold. It was 25 degrees this morning to come in. We didn't know how, what the birds were going to do, and they did not say a word. No. Gobbled a couple of times on the roost, and then just flew down. And... Man. So the, they, we had a hen come in the fence. We're sitting, we've been hunting along the different corners of this fence. Had a hen come in, run right to us, 15 yards, go to check out the decoy. There was a Jake and a good long beard and a couple more hens. And they, they went a different way. Come back. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Apparently they're coming back. We're gonna get spun around. Yep. It's crazy. See the head. No way. Yep. See the head. Stay tuned. It's got a pretty decent beard, it might be him. Oh yeah. I saw it swinging a second ago. You can see the top of his head. Yeah. Oh, that one is a D. seen turkeys that just don't care about fences. Yeah, that's crazy. <coughs> Morning everyone. It's 10 of 6, May 11th. Uh, it's a Monday morning. We're going to do a little hunting before work. Uh, we've gotten out a few mornings and we been on these birds a lot. They're just skirting us. Uh, we had a tom hang up on Saturday at about 80 yards. So we pulled the old scruffy looking gobby, gobby decoy back out. I'm not going to call this morning. I'm going to let them do their thing and just see what they do naturally. There's a hen. It sounds like a boss hen down there. Roosts in the same tree probably on the same branch every night and she's kind of the leader if she wants she'll fly out and they'll go across the gully and you can't hunt them that day really so I'm gonna let her they want to be right where I'm at I finally got ahead of them I moved the blind uh, after Hagen shot his bird so we're, we're gonna hang tight and now uh, see what these birds do this morning. Uh, it's just starting to wake up. Turkeys have been gobbling down over. It's getting harder to tell exactly how far they are. There's going to be a little more foliage. So I can't tell if they're turned and they're facing down the gully or what. But basically, we're sitting this blind. And I got a, pretty much an area from here to here. I got to see them first and then make the move with all the camera gear and everything. Uh, I'm in the pasture, and I have the decoys outside of the pasture. So, we almost pulled them in doing that the other day. Like I said, I got a pretty nasty looking uh, gobbler decoy that I got up for a visual. I'm hoping to get some stuff stirred up. Got the old Matthews out, whack a rod in. Let's hang tight, we got about an hour before generally you know what these turkeys do. If they're in the field, then you know you're hunting them that day. Uh, if they're not out by then, then they went the other way. So we're just gonna keep putting the time in. We'll, we'll catch up with them. So just hope we can get the bow draw back. We'll see. Stay tuned, there will be blood.
So what we did, we called a few times. This lone hand came, just came across the field. She's right there. And then they came out. So they're on our side. They're right now. They're going to be about 250 yards out. Which is awesome. I set up in the right direction. I'm in this blind. Here comes a strutter. Yes. Let's make this happen. Got plenty of time. I'm just going to let them do their thing. This is their strut zone. They love this field. Let's just see how it plays out with the decoys this morning. Like I said, basically, before the birds come in too close, I'll pan around. So we got them coming out. They're going to work this edge of this fence. Sometimes they get in the pasture. Sometimes they sk skirt straight across. The other day we had them. They came and they went just like that, went straight across. That's 50 yards if I have to take a sniper shot. And this is, this is fence up here. So we call this a dog leg. And we basically, last time I put the decoys out in front of us, this time I put them behind us a little bit. So that extra 10, 20 yards, hopefully be the difference. I got the worst decoys ever. I have a hen that's about ready to fall over. And a gobbler that ain't got no tail feathers. Sitting on a bucket. <laughs> but, okay. That's probably about as much talking as I'll be able to do. Seems like we got eight. Looks like a Jake. Beautiful sunrise. But okay, we got this Jake now. Looks like. And he is now at about 150. Uh, we've got a couple hens around. One's right there in the pasture. out there farther. I think that strutter's back behind that multiflow rose. We'll see what happens guys. This has kind of been our luck. They've, they've came out and then just not played along. So I'm gonna be pretty quiet as far as calling and see what they do this time. Probably if they start obviously walking by me, I'm gonna call, but since I'm, I think where they'd like to be, I'm just gonna try to let the decoys work as a visual. And I will shoot that Jake with a bow. If I got good footage, he's down. right behind that stump right now but they are coming the right direction oh there's a strutter right there so the ends are working their way there comes all white head but this is the problem oh you came in range though so we can make that happen if we had to So basically, I got the call ready. I want to get his attention before we make that corner. I don't want to be calling from behind him anymore. I'm 
not going to call too much. I just want him to know I'm over here. I want him to see the decoy. I don't want to call from behind him. I've been behind these birds lately. That's the Jake. So it's going to really pay, pay attention to his body language when he makes this corner. See, those hands are trying to keep him out there. Yep, they don't like the gobbler. Just like to skirt that stupid piece. Look at them go. They do not like that gobbler. Come on, buddy. He's at about 80 yards again. And we won't hunt with a gobbler decoy again. That's what you call peace out Girl Scout. Gone. That didn't work at all. I hate turkeys. So now I gotta let them get across that fence, down into the pasture, and then I'm, I can head out. That was horrible. So the gobbler is 0 for 2 this year. That thing's going back in the truck. That was horrible. Dang it. Well, that's turkey counting for me. They did not like that. That'll go back in the truck, and that will not be back out here. We'll, dang, we may move the blind. They're gonna skirt us like that. I may go hunt them on that edge again. Maybe smart. Just pick this blind up, walk it. There's a stump right here. I'll probably be on either side of that. If they're gonna play this game, I don't know. We'll see. Dang it. These birds always just get the best of me. Alright, another morning. Alright, everyone. <laughs> it's literally like 10 minutes after the, those turkeys saw the decoys, freaked out, took off. That's the second time that they've skirted that way. Just pulled everything out of the blind. I'm gonna pick it up. They're just over that ridge. They're in. They usually hit a pasture. Go pick through some of the cow patties in the morning. They're probably only a couple hundred yards away. I can't hunt them this morning again. I gotta get to work, but I'm gonna move this blind, and we'll just keep chasing them down. I don't know how else to do it. These turkeys are so hard. When they get to the field, they do just this. If you're not in the right spot on the right morning, they do not want to come into any calls or decoys. It seems like. So we're gonna close the distance. I think we're narrowing it down. At least we were ahead of them this time. So we'll, we'll close the distance. There's an old stump over here. I'm just gonna pick the blind up, get it over by that log, and, and set up, then come back after them tomorrow. So we'll, we'll see. Stay tuned, we'll chase them down with sticks if we have to. But we're gonna get on these birds. So we'll move the blind and be set up for tomorrow. No gobbler decoy, just I think so been a flop this year.
Schizo turkeys, man. I literally just moved the whole blind and heard a gobble and looked up. I didn't see anything at first. I got in the blind and he was right there. But he got him. There's only one other thing that could happen this morning that could possibly push these turkeys back. And that's my cousin's hunting across the road. If he goes to his truck, those birds could fold up and fly down this edge, but we won't make on that. Oh, Jesus. You've got to be kidding me. Here comes the Tom. It's a weird morning. I guess we'll hang tight and see what happens. running in this way. You're kidding me. This is ridiculous. I hate turkey up so bad.
You won't even believe what happened today. That's ridiculous. Am I blind? Ten minutes ago? What is right here? Right there. That damn turkey. Seriously, like the only thing I haven't moved yet is my decoys. And they are back over here where my blind was. I got a hand on the horizon. Right there's where my blind used to be. And right there's a big old 70 inch tom that's out there just strutting. Because I just picked my blind up and moved it. Look at this. I didn't even know there's more turkeys back here. What the heck? But they're gonna go over that edge. I don't know what to do with these turkeys. Those ones skirted me at like 45. I actually drew, but I just I couldn't get a good shot. I was not set up for that hunt. If he goes to those decoys, I'm quitting my job. He's got it. Just so everyone knows, that literally is 20 yards from my blind. I mean, where it was. This makes me so mad. He's gonna go right to those decoys, which right now, just a little bit too far, I believe, you know. I will take a pop shot at a turkey. I guess this means don't give up. As Mike like in LA would say, never give up. Is that I didn't give up, I just changed my battle plan. The wrong way, man. What are you doing? I cannot believe I just had that happen. I think pulled the trigger a little too early on that one, huh? Man, those birds went by. They saw that decoy and they didn't want none of it. I moved the blind because that's twice they squirted me over on this side. I moved the blind about 80 yards. While I'm moving the blind, I hear a gobble. I get in the blind and I see him come out. And he goes about 500 yards across this field. I'm getting ready to pack up. The Jake comes out. Then they start, they're gonna sit over there and scrap. That's ridiculous. So, the, the Tom comes back. They come right into 45 yards. I don't have anything set up. I don't have any windows open to shoot that way. I had no idea they were gonna come in the pasture like that. I thought they were gonna come back up towards the hens. But they didn't. They went around, got in the pasture, went within 20 yards of my blind where I'd had a decoy every morning. And now he's out there strutting. He went right around where my blind would have been. It's unreal. So I gotta wait for him to get up over the hill. <sighs> Man, turkey hunting, dude. It's crazy. I couldn't get the camera moved the right way. I couldn't get the right windows open. It was not, it was sloppy. But it was fun. 
had me shaking. I hadn't clipped my uh, release on a string with the intent to kill for a minute. I'm gonna say it was exciting. Now he's just out there strutting. <laughs> there will be blood, but not today. Nuts. <laughs> I guess, stay tuned. <laughs>